one thing as well, which I think interesting now, even when I do um, some giveaways, and you will know this, Katie, as well, campaigns, is that we're talking about seriously older people who are behind seriously conservative brands who are all of a sudden going, and are you going to do something with your Facebook page? Because they want it not just on the radio now, mm. as far as a you know giveaway or whatever it may be, they want it to be on Facebook. So they want the young people and they want it out there and they'll check it and they'll come back to you and say, mate, you haven't done an update. So, I mean, even advertisers who you know had not embraced Facebook or social media mm. a couple of years ago are saying, if it's not there, we won't do it. Mm. Because I'm always slammed if I talk anything other than sport, because people think if you're a sports guy, you're dumb on the rest of the world. But the flag debate, and one guy sent me this little mock-up of the new New Zealand flag, which, by the way, I thought was amazing. And um, so it gave me content for my program. And I put it up, and I think it went to three quarters of a million saw people. That. Yeah, I saw you Three quarters of a million people. Now, mm. God forbid, I mean, I'm about 21 and a half thousand likes, and I'm sort of got quite a big engagement. But three quarters of a million people. And mm. then the debate came back. And the question I just want to ask people, is it time that we actually had a flag that was more fun and representative and what would that mean to athletes and I was just blown away and that drove my show for probably across two days because I was able to keep going back to people who were commenting I think the post went to two and a half thousand people posted 